Let's do now a little bit of web development. So I first create a file like index.html here and we do a very standard, very simple web page to get started. And we want to see what happens if I open it over here. Right. Um, and by the way, I strongly recommend you to use Git. So let me just do it. Um, so I create with git init my new repository and do git add index HTML so that I have a version controlled environment. However, when you deploy something like this, you must always be sure that the .git directory is not exposed okay, to the World Wide Web. Good. Let's see what happens. If I reload now, it's empty. Why is it empty? Let me inspect, you know, the, the page. And the page is pretty much empty. Why is that? Well, we haven't saved anything in Atom yet. So let me do, do that. HTML language equals English, right? And HTML, let me create a very dummy one body. Let me increase the font size again, by the way. Body, right? All right. And here we say something like, you know, John, this is a test h1 okay so this is a valid html page right so i can immediately reload the page and here we go this is a test we, with my body over here right so so far no magic and you know how to do this and you can of course create include your css and putting it just in this directory if you like and it will work pretty seamlessly as you've learned from your hci module what I wanted to show you in, instead is really, I want to give you a short introduction to PHP. So what is PHP? Well, it is a general purpose scripting language and it's dynamic. It's the hypertext preprocessor uh, and it's used for pretty much uh, in 1994 and it's now also advanced. It has a couple of features. It's very lightweight for certain activities and easy to learn. So you can do a lot of tasks that you would need by just Googling them. And that's, I find, so very much appealing. So let me show you, by the way, uh, PHP, um, you know, help, right? There is a very great page. All right, yeah, yeah, I agree. There is a very great, couple of great pages. And the, the best one I like is php.net. Yeah, this one has an awesome manual where you can find anything that you want about PHP. Okay, and here you see, you know, basic language reference, security features, you know, all the functions. It's all there. And this should be really a short video. That's why I don't go into too much detail. But what I want to do now with you is I wanted to create a little web app that does something on the server, right? And why not do an input? by a user and then save the input given by a user input a file, right? And so again, you can wonder how do you do web forms? And I suppose you know it, but let me, you know, do it. Um, HTML5, you know, web form, and we want to use the get, all right? So your first web form, right? So here's an example. I like that one. Um, very much and we just take it and paste it from first name yeah 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 that last name I think that's pretty much yeah what we had here so let's just take it put it here right in my HTML so that pretty much works it will not do something yet useful but we get there so here we have those to input form elements Oh, by the way, I made here a typo, so I have to enter tag h1. So now what I want, I need to submit it. And so we need the input, um, which is a, a button, right? So there is, of course, a help how to do a button, right? And uh, a clickable button, right? You need, we need the submit button, right? So let me find it, the submit button, right? input type submit that's exactly what we need so let me put this button now here 
here we go so now let's go back now we have well a submit query that is a bit awkward i'd say um so input type submit um no 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 so we give this maybe another name and let me just run it submit query that is a little bit better but there is a way to exactly its value here we go you can say you can use the value here and then you say submit and that's that's the title that we give it right so it's a submit button um hop, here we go submit right so now when i push this button you see that this page actually reloads yeah why is that so well because we did do um, a get http get request where here we see the arguments right so the first name if i put here test last name is last and i put submit you find here the arguments but our web page why has now sent this information to the server so if i would look at the access log i would see that this is the url but i have not yet any method to take on the server this information and do something useful and that's now where we get start with can start it with php 